I've just been watching Mr. Garlic JD's live stream on Revelations, and my god, that guy is so sick at zombies. But anyway, I'm getting straight into the point here. I was watching his live stream, and he got tipped off that if you build the keeper summoning pad thingy and then call it in, and then you actually use a jump pad near Kino de Totem to get to Varokt, and you stay there, then there's a slight chance that this keeper will start some sort of ritual and now I'm going to show you footage of this of me doing this in the background here so yeah this keeper starts this ritual and the way you know that you've done this correctly is that you will hear a sort of humming and an ominous sort of sound which you'll hear in the background here and basically what will happen is the keeper will stay still it will be doing this ritual and zombies will be running towards it so it's your job you have to make sure the zombies do not hit it because it does die now the reason the zombies aren't moving in this gameplay here is because I had the gobblegum fear in headlights on which is in the bottom right hand corner of the screen as you can see there and basically once the keeper has finished the ritual it will disappear and it will drop what I thought and what many people thought was a Kino de Toten movie reel but in actual fact it isn't and the reason I say it isn't as you can see in the footage here is I picked it up and I actually took it to the projector room in Kino de Totem and I was holding square on everything and it just wasn't fitting into anything so then I popped back up in his chat Mr. Dalek JD's live stream chat and I said guys it's not working I've got the reel but I can't put it in anywhere and someone actually tipped me off that I should try putting it in a radio in Nakhde and Totem and I had no idea where to find this radio so I spent about 10 minutes looking around Nakh to try and find it and eventually I found it and it's just, just this little square box here that you'll see in the corner here on screen and so yeah in actual fact it's not a movie reel but it's a tape that you put into this little radio so um, anyway without further ado it's basically just Sophia's storyline and basically what happened to her before she was turned into that big great machine in Gorod Krovi. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and here is the tape. After many weeks of failure and frustration Dr. Maxis finally achieves the breakthrough he had been searching for. The results were immediate and startling. In the case of Subject 26, his instances of violent outburst were non-existent. His docility appeared. Permanent. Unfortunately, while we prepared to implement the treatment on the other subjects, there was an incident. During his field test this morning, Subject 26 attacked a handler. 26 and the handler were both destroyed. Maxis believes Subject 26 only attacks the handler. He does not know I was attacked as well. I have observed a developing pattern of high fevers and cold sweats. My thoughts are erratic. My relationship with Ludwig is complicated. I fear I cannot be so, as if things weren't bad enough, I'm struggling to maintain my presence. Bloody Shadow Man. At least he's in the same boat. 